In the south of France, her restaurant had no equal. Last night, we served this. In this restaurant, the cuisine is not an old, tired marriage. It is a passionate affair. you enjoy being involved in this and playing such a deliciously sort of stubborn and proud character as Madame oh, Mallory. I love that, thank you. Deliciously stubborn and proud character. I'm going to use that if you don't mind because I think that's a perfect description of Madame Mallory. Um, I loved playing her, you know, it was, um, I loved pretending to be French and, um, and looking French and it was sort of amazing with, you know, hair and costume, how one can be transformed and I, I had a great uh, costume designer. I was absolutely looking forward to reading the script. I said if it is Spielberg sending a, a script, it has to be substantial. It has to be meaningful, it has to be good, and it has to be of a, of a quality. And it turned out to be so. I want to buy this restaurant. Bonjour. This is private property. Excuse me, do you own this property? No, no. Oh, that means you are trespassing too. The story really is about this young man who has this very unique gift, and it's about how he grows from a young man, an innocent man, and a boy in, in, in India to a grown man with very complicated responsibilities in Paris. And, but really, it's about going out of your comfort zone and, and taking a risk and walking a distance to achieve something great and amazing, and that's what the story's about. Well, it's a, a culture clash comedy drama um, about a family who moved from India to the South France to open a restaurant, but 100 feet away is a very refined French, French restaurant. And the two restaurants go into battle for customers. Begin! Yay! It's a wedding party over there. A funeral. The death of good taste. If your food is anything like your music, I suggest you turn it down. Other than hunger pangs, uh, what do you think audiences are going to take away from this film? A lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. The only thing they won't be able to take away, unfortunately, is uh, the food which they will see on the screen. <laughs> I hope they take away that, uh, that taking risks and doing what you're not used to doing is the greatest thing you can do. It is a fable, but, um, but uh, um, and, and hopefully a viscerally pleasurable one. Uh, but it does have this little thread of honesty and truth in it, I hope. I added some spices. Why change a recipe that is 200 years old? Maybe 200 years is long enough.